Hello, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Please ensure to like, share, and subscribe. And also click the bell notification in the top right hand corner to be made aware anytime I upload tutorials or videos to YouTube. Alright, let's craft together. Hey guys, so today I'm going to be taking this image that I created in Mid Journey. Um, by blending two images together. I'm going to take this image and I'm going to actually put it in a picture frame. And yeah, that's what we're going to do today. All right. So the um, these are the two images that I'm going to be working with because I have two frames that I'm going to be using. And I got these frames at Michael's, um, two frames for $3 today. So without further ado, let's get started. So I'm going to bring up Microsoft PowerPoint. And I'm going to make this eight and a half by 11. So I'm going to go to design, come over to slide size, custom slide size. And I want to make this eight and a half by 11. And we're going to leave it in the portrait position and hit OK and ensure the fit. Now I'm going to right click and I'm going to choose layout and select blank. And then I'm going to go ahead and um, right click and duplicate this slide. So now I have two for my images. And then I'm going to click on insert picture this device. And I'm going to go to my desktop, which is where I save these images. And I'm going to do that one and I'm going to go back. I can't see my screen. My little thing is in my way. Um, there we go. Um, let me duplicate that slide or just get a new slide. And then I'm going to select my second picture which is that one. All right, so now I have both my images. So that one, the face is straight on. This one, the face is kind of uh, slanted to the side. You can see this one has no tattoo. This one has a tattoo on the neck. So they are not the same. And then the hoodies are different, okay? So the first thing I'm going to do is go to picture format and I'm gonna click on remove background. And I'm going to, I have two tabs. One is a mark area to keep and one is a mark area to remove. I'm going to click on mark areas to keep. And you get this little pencil across your screen. And I'm just going to draw where it's like the dark hue purple color to bring it back to the original. And I could go to remove BG, but since I'm here, I'm just going to do it in Microsoft PowerPoint. Alright. So we're gonna keep going. Okay, so you can see how the colors are coming back to the image as I drag my little pencil thingy over the areas that have like that little kind of purple color to them. That's how you know what's going to be taken out of the picture. So like right here, you have kind of like that purple or pinkish, I don't know, color. And you just click until you get everything back into your photo. I think that right there is that color anyway. Let's just make sure we got everything. There's just a little bit right there. 
All right, let me make sure I didn't miss anything. And if you miss anything, you can always come back and, you know, grab whatever is missing. So yeah, just removing the background. And I think that looks good. Just making sure I got everything, everything. Sometimes you'll look and you're like, oh, right there. All right, so I see there's a little tint right there missing. So I'm just gonna click back on the image and go back to um, picture format remove background and mark areas to keep and I'm just going to drag it slightly on that little edge right there to bring the color back without bringing in the background. All right, I think that looks good. Yep. So this is going to be the image that I'm going to be working with. And you don't have to mirror or anything like that. I'm gonna go down to the second image and do the same thing. I'm gonna click on the image, come over to the far left, remove background, and mark areas to keep. And you get the little pencil, and you just go to drawing to bring back in, in the original image. And you can see how that's coming together went outside of what I wanted to do there, but I'll go and clean that up. So like I said, you could go into remove BG and do this quicker, but I'm in Microsoft PowerPoint, so I'm just going to ride it out. I'm just going to ride it out. And then I'll go back and clean up. Looking good. Not sure that was supposed to be in there, but there we go. And always just do a double check because, like I said, sometimes you'll look and you're like, oops, I totally didn't realize her ear was gone. All right, so we're going to click off of it and see what we got. And I have a couple of areas over here that I don't want. I don't want that little area right there, nor do I want that right there. So now I'm clicking to um, get rid of what I don't want, and I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that little piece right there. And I think we're good. Okay, a little part of her earring right here, or whatever hair was taken away. And now I think... I'm good. All right, so I'm going to be taking both of these images and I'm going to be putting them inside of a picture frame. And my picture frame is, let me look at my size here. My picture frame is a 9 by 12 and it has a thick black frame to it. So I'm going to make sure that I, um, I'm going to measure the inside of the frame where the photo will go. And it looked like it said about a little bit over eight and a half to about 11, a little bit over 11 and a half. So I'm probably going to make it 8.5 by 11.5 or maybe 8 by 11.5 okay I think I'm going to do 8 by 11.5 all right so to uh, work with my image you see your height here I'm going to click on this little down arrow here and I'm going to remove the lock aspect ratio and the relative to original picture size 
and that will allow me to just type in my height and width without it altering and then I can take a look at it to see what I want to change. All right, so I'm going to um I forgot I'm working with eight and a half by eleven paper. I forgot that um because I really didn't want the top of her head cut off, but I may not have a choice. So the image is now eleven by eight. So I'm gonna take a piece of paper and just see what that will look like. Yeah, that's gonna leave a little bit of her head chopped off, and I don't want that. <laughs> Okay, all right, so we got that. We're gonna go on to this one and we're going to do the same thing with her. We're gonna click on that little double arrow and we're gonna type in a height of 11 and then the width we're gonna do eight. Oh, and let me take off the aspect ratio. I didn't do that at first. So 11 and 8. Okay. So I can one up a little bit. All right. So there we have both of our images. And this is going to be kind of like on a um, it's kind of like a glittery kind of background. So I think that glittery background is going to make it really pop. Um, and I'm going to be using my glossy photo paper. All right, so I'm going to get both of these printed out. I almost feel like I want to go to the 11 by 17 paper because I really want this to be 11.5. I am. I'm going to change it. All right. So I'm going to come back up to design and I'm going to go over to slide size and I'm going to make the width 11 and the height 17. And we're going to leave it in the portrait position and ensure the fit. And that way I can make this the size I really want it to be because I don't want the top of her head cut off. I want to make it go all the way up to the top. So we're going to change now. Um, we're going to come over to size and position just by clicking the image. And we're going to go ahead and do a height of 11.5. And we're going to leave that on 8. The same thing on this one. We're going to size and position after you select the, the picture and we're going to do 11.5 by 8 which is what we had all right so let me just make sure that i'm going to be good and i'll show you here in a minute how i'm measuring the inside of the picture frame yeah i think we're good Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get this printed out, get both of these images printed out. I don't know, for some reason, this one looks smaller than that one, but maybe it's just my eyes playing tricks on me, you think? Let's take a look. Okay. All right. So now I'm going to show you, I'm going to go to file up in the top left corner and select print. And man, 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 I hate to waste so much paper. I don't think I can. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to get over it. Do, 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 do. Okay, so I'm going to select print current slide. <clears throat> 
excuse me, and I'm going to be using my HP 7740, which is here. And I'm going to go to my printer properties. And I'm going to select other glossy inkjet paper. Want best quality. And I'm going to select um, tabloid. Okay, wants to be a little funky today, so let me see, there it is, tabloid, and I'm using the main tray. All right, so I'm going to get one printed out, see what that looks like, and then I may have to adjust my sizing. Um... I am going to put around this. That's why I chose an image that didn't have a lot of hard work for me to have to do with cutting it out myself. But I am going to cut this out. And, uh, you know, so there won't be any white actually showing. So I'm going to go ahead and get this paper set up. And then we'll come up on screen and go from there. So we have our one of our images printing out. This is the first one. And again, this is on 11 by 17 inch glossy paper. Um, I'm using the Epson paper. Hold on one second. Let me get the container. Okay, guys. So this is the packaging that this paper came in. Um, it's Epson Photo Glossy. I did not put it on photo glossy in my printer. I just use other matte inkjet. For some reason, when I use photo glossy, it doesn't print out as nice. The colors don't look as nice. So I use other matte glossy. I mean, other matte photo paper. Other matte paper. So I'm sure I ordered this off Amazon like last year. It was a little bit expensive that I remember it only comes with 20 sheets so you don't want to waste it and it's 11 by 17 okay so that's that now I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to be cutting both of these out here's the other one you guys can see that they look beautiful so because I did not use the Cricut to print these out, because you do have size restrictions in Cricut Design Space, and yes, I did check out the print size now, and Cricut Design Space is still little. I don't care what nobody say. Um, so I got these at Michael's for $3. Two of them are in here, and um, they are 9 by 12. So you can see $3. So we're always doing our images and not showing all the different things that we can do with them. So I wanted to do something where if you don't have a sublimation printer, you can do still do some inkjet stuff without having sublimation, a sublimation printer. So I was going to take and put this glitter in the background but then my chair it fell on the floor my chair rolled over it so I got these little lines in it so I don't know if I'll use this it may be better just to put it on the, on the white on the white background which is probably what I'm going to just leave it on the white background which is what I'm going to do but what I did not want is I did not want her head to be cut off like where it's like cut off and then the rest of the picture frame. So that's why I made it super large. So I'm just gonna take my scissors and chop her up, not chop her up, but <laughs> cut her, um, cut them both out and then I'll come back and we'll finish. Now, if we had, if we could do these in the larger size in Cricut Design Space, it would be perfect because then we could just have Cricut to cut this out for us, but that's not the case. It's still, it's still, it's only a smidge larger than what it originally was. 
So I don't want to go through all that hassle just to get a small image. So that is why I do it in Microsoft PowerPoint. Now you can do it, guys. And if you have Silhouette Studio, uh, the business edition, I'm told that you can do, you know, the large images with no problem. So um, you don't have to have a Silhouette cutting machine to have the software. You can purchase the software on its own. And I think they say it's like 80 bucks, $79, somewhere around there. So you can just get the software and still be able to do some really great projects using Silhouette Studio. Um, and maybe one day I'll decide that I want to be a, a Silhouette girl, but I haven't made that decision yet. And maybe one day I'll decide I want to be a DTF, a real print machine girl, but I haven't decided that either. So I'm just going to keep on keeping on like I've been doing. All right. So like I said, I'm going to, I don't want to take up a lot of video time with uh, me just cutting this out, but you can see that I'm almost there. Okay. And if you say she looked like Rihanna, it's because I put Rihanna in the prompt. Okay. So I'll be right back. Alrighty, guys. I got both of my images cut out. <clears throat> Okay, on the photo glossy and I think I got them right about the size I need them so I'm going to go ahead and open up my picture frame and see how close I am <clears throat> so what I was doing when you couldn't see me I was measuring the how much space I have on the inside of the picture frame so I was just basically taking a ruler oh. I was just basically basically taking the ruler and measuring inside here. Okay. Um, oops. Hold on. Um, because it says nine by twelve, but it's clearly uh, smaller than that on the inside. So. I wanted to get that inside part. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip my paper over so that the white part is what's showing. And I'm like this, okay? So you won't be able to see that part because it's gonna be up against the wall. And I might try one of the glitter pieces just to see what it looked like. Hold on a second. Um, this is not glass. It has like a plastic, plastic feel to it. <clears throat> so let's see what we got. Oh yeah, that'll be perfect. Still got a little bit of that head part. Let me see if I can bring it up like that and then it won't make a difference on the bottom before I put my glue on here to or tape to hold that in place. But that's what it's going to look like. Okay. Just like that. So I could have went just a smidge larger right there so you couldn't see that part right there. So I don't like that part, but I don't want her head to have that space. Okay. So I'm going to get my glue sticks. I'm going to use my glue dots to hold her in place. And it's going to be pretty. But this is another something you can do, guys. You don't have to use your um, home photos or your family photos. You can make your own. You know, your kids' bedrooms, you can create your own digital images. And then um, for your kids' bedroom, you can make your own digital images and make them match the kids' bedroom, whatever, you know, design designs you have going on for the kiddies' bedroom. You can make a design using Midjourney or Playground AI or Creative Fabric of Spark. Um, it's plenty of digital image software out there that you can use. I'm only naming some. Um, you could do a Google search to see what you find. 
I'm just putting a couple of glue stri sticks on here to hold her in place. And I might stick one of the glitter pieces behind here just to see what it'll look like, because I might like it. And decide to go with the glitter behind here. So let's see. And let's see what it look like without truly sticking it on there. I'm just gonna put it behind it like this. Oh, I do kind of like it better than the white. I'm trying not to get the glue stuck to it. Hold on one second and I will let you see. Oh, she's so pretty. Got stuck on there anyway. All right, I'll be able to lift it up fairly easy. But just to kind of give you a feel of what it would look like with that glitter, I think that would be even pretty to do it with the glitter. And then I won't be so worried about that bottom bottom part. So I'm going to chop this down to where the glitter part will fit. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go with the glitter, the glitter background. All right, I know my scissors fail. Oops. Yeah, my lease is up in April. I can't wait to get out of here. I said this last year, but really, I am moving. So I will have, and don't, don't, don't think I'm lying to you, but I'm going to have a real room set up for crafting, and I can't wait. So... It's kind of awkward because I try to have everything where you can see it, but, you know, I know I got some challenges, but I'm going to go ahead and put this glitter behind it, and then maybe I won't feel so bad. Or maybe I'll put some words, put a little saying, little phrase at the bottom so it won't look so awkward. That's what I might do. All right. Oh yeah, she looks so pretty on this glitter. Okay, instead of just the white. So we're gonna get her in there. And that's what it's gonna look like. So I'm not gonna worry about that. I'm not gonna put anything there. I'm just gonna leave it like it is. I just don't want the head part to be, you know, chopped off at the top. All right. And just that simple. There we have it. I think it's gorgeous. I think it's gorgeous. So you guys chime in in the comments and tell me what you think. I'm going to set this other one up. For picture frames for two for three dollars, guys, not bad. Not bad at all. And they're a nine by twelve. Um... And then, like I said, if you have a printer that will allow you to print larger, then I would go with the 11 by 17 in size paper instead of the 8 and a half by 11. Unless you have an image that it doesn't really matter about the, um, you know, like you got the full picture. But mine, you saw mine only did half of the head, so not half of the head, but didn't give me the top portion of the head and I really like the images so I didn't want to try for another image it's gonna be so poor duper easy to do this just a few other ideas guys oh I forgot to put the right backing on there dang it Oops. 
I don't put the thing on without putting this on there. Let me put that on right quick. Um, but just giving you some options of something else you can do besides sublimation. Since everybody say all I do is sublimation. Um, and you, you know, like I said, if you're doing the mid journey or one of the software. Oh, it's so pretty. Man, if I would have just brought that image down just a smidge, it would have been totally perfect. Totally. All right, so we're going to take this and glue her. I don't think she wants to be glued on. She keeps running. All right, we're going to get her glued on. So that's going to be that one. Um, this glitter background I got also in Michael's over in the section where the card stock is. So I just grabbed up two sheets because I knew I was going to do this. And uh, I wasn't sold on just having a white background. But then I was not sure what image I was going to use either. <laughs> so I wanted to get something that was kind of neutral. <clears throat> so based on whatever image you will use then I will say go with whatever will not clash with the colors in your um, image. This thing is so bright. Here we go. So I look like I'm sitting under a hot plate. All right. I'm going to put two more little glue sticks. I love these glue sticks, guys. It is so much easier than using glue glue or tape. You could have used the, I could have used the double-sided tape, too. All right. Let's get her on here. All righty, put her face down and put our cover on. I'm hungry. It's time to eat. What time is it? 12 o'clock? Oh, yeah. It's time for me to go get me something to eat. This is perfect. Once I finish this, get, get me something to eat. All right. And there we have it, both of our digital images. So chime in the comments and tell me what you think. I think they're going to be very nice hanging up on my wall. And you can, guys, for this amount, I mean, for $3, I didn't see any more black. But if they would have had more black, then I probably would have did a set of four um, instead of just the two. But I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. So um, the image sizes, since I did have to go in and change them, um, I probably would bring the height down. Right now I have it at 8.94, or not the height. The height I have at 11.9. I probably, in PowerPoint, I probably would bring it down to about 12 to be on the safe side. Because even if you have to cut it off a little bit, it's better to cut it and still have it fill out the entire picture instead of, you know, it being too short. So that's the only part that I would change right there is making sure that it goes all the way down. But I think it looks really nice on that glitter background. Okay, so there we have it. Um, for those of you that may ask, I'm using the HP Office Jet Pro 7740. It prints up to 11 by 19. And again, this is inkjet. This is not any sublimation stuff. Um, I got the picture frames, two for $3 on sale at Michael's. Um, the glitter card stock was like $1.99 per sheet. Um, and then I created the images myself in Mid Journey. I took two images and blended them together to get the, these images right here. So there's no prompt that I used 
for these images, but when I did the initial images, I did put a prompt. I saved those images and then I went in and blended those images together. So that's how they got like the same kind of looking feel. Okay. All right, guys. So there's something that you could do without having sublimation or doing sublimation, or this is another way that you can take your artwork and put it on display without, um, you know, having to do a t-shirt or a mug or posters or something like that. But let's get back into digital images and putting them in picture frames. The next thing that I'm going to be showing you guys is how to um, transfer an image over to a canvas. So that's going to be coming up next. That's going to be the next tutorial that I do. So you don't want to miss it. Stay tuned for that. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Y'all saw how quick that was. It's just a matter of creating your image or you can use a photo uh, portrait. It doesn't have to be a digital image. So if you're not into the digital art thing, don't worry about it. Use a family photo. Um, and like I said, for the custom paper, I used other matte. I did not put it on photo glossy or anything like that. I use other matte um, paper. And this is Epson that I got from Amazon. You only get 20 sheets. So I ordered this last year. I probably used it maybe once. So you do want to make sure that you, you know, you're not making mistakes because you only got 20 tries. <laughs> and it's a little expensive for 11 by 17 for only 20 sheets. Okay. Um, and then what else? Yeah, I did it in Microsoft PowerPoint. And um, I did have to make the images look larger than what they actually stated. So again, my image size is at... The image size is at a height of 11.99 and the width is 9.1. The width is 9.1 and the height is 11.99. Now it's going to look like it's going to be too big, I mean too small, but it's not, okay? So go with those size measurements and you should be fine. Um, other than that, let me see if I had both of the images at the same size because I might have made one larger. Yeah, one was a little bit larger. So this other one is 12.1 by 8.94. So just kind of play around with it, guys, till you get it right. All right. All right, guys, that's my story. I'm sticking to it. If you're currently in my Facebook group, Candoris is Cricket and Creative Crafters, then please, 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 thank you guys so much for continuing to follow me on Facebook. Um, if you would like to join a Facebook group, it will be linked in the description of this video tutorial. So just click on that link, agree to the Facebook group rules, and we'll get you in. Um, if you, <clears throat> I said please, 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 and the reason I said please, please, please is because lately I've been having a lot of people coming in trying to sell stuff in my group, and that's totally not allowed, okay? And I don't do warnings anymore, so as soon as you put your request through selling something, I'm going to ban you from the group, period. That's the end of the story, okay? So please, please, please make sure you're not coming in the group to try to sell anything, okay? We all know that we sell our work. It's no secret. <laughs> and I'm not trying to stop you from your cash flow, but you just can't do it openly in the group, okay? Post your images, post your pictures, post your work. If someone wants to buy it, they'll DM you, okay? All right. Um, if you're currently subscribed to my YouTube channel, thank you guys so much for the love and support that you show via YouTube. Um, if you like my method of teaching, then please like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. The more the merrier. And please continue to like because that's how we as content creators, you know, get our rewards from that. And also... Um, continue to post comments because I love talking to you guys, okay? And it helps me to know if I'm doing things that you like or don't like or what have you, okay? Here we go. Something that you can do using your digital images or your family photos and slap them right on in here and have some really great art. I love to see my images and artwork and stuff all around the house. I have my clock over there that I did in sublimation images that I did over there. I have my calendar posted over here on the wall and all the way back on that far back wall is the image that I ordered from print on demand of a digital image that I did. So I can't wait to get my craft room together. All right. All right, guys, that's my story. I'm sticking to it. And you know, my motto is each one reach one so that each one can teach one. And you guys have an amazing day.
Bye.